We are here at SES Chicago 2009, third day just wrapped up. I'm here with Jonathan Allen of Incisive Media. Uh, he just got done speaking at a session and moderating a session, correct? Yeah. So I want you to give our viewers kind of background of, of where you've been in the industry, how you got started. Did you do that? Yeah, sure. So um, basically I got started in the industry seven years ago. Um, I was employed straight out of uni to um, find Christmas presents and put them in a Christmas directory, like, you know, online catalogue. And PR was meant to be the big driver of traffic to the site. And suddenly there was no traffic come December the 14th. And they needed, they suddenly were like, we need traffic. And uh, so someone had the bright idea of, you know, getting the website on search engines and basically threw me a book and said, here, learn this. And uh, yeah, I cracked it, cracked it in not, and in those days you could crack it quite quickly mm -hmm. and uh, start getting just a trickle of traffic but found the whole challenge fun and then kind of thought hmm wait there this might be useful so Jonathan can you talk to us about what you spoke at uh, here on SES what you focused on yeah sure so um, I talked at the session from search to discovery which is on Mike Green's panel and um, basically talked about how there's sort of many webs, many stories, and the, uh, the way that the search interface is changing, it's like we're going to discovery, and these new signals that mobile phones create and, um, and you know, API type accounts create, like create all these new signals for search engines. So ranking becomes a different story. And basically I illustrated it with like kittens. So it was like web 1.0 was like reading about Scoble's kitten because he was the one who could design a website, put them up there. Web 2.0 was like uploading your own kitten and like saying, you know, corporate cat has no time for your shenanigans and lol cat well. type stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then web 3.0 was like the idea that in the end we might be sort of connecting with each other through our kittens. So I could using like new rich data formats like friend of a friend, ex extended friend network tags, and uh, you've got Google Friend Connect, Facebook Connect, Twitter Connect, all that kind of stuff. It's like, in the end, we're gonna be putting photos of our cats up, but actually we're gonna be meet millions of people through that who love our cat and we love their cat and things like that. Other things I covered was like how these, the, yeah, search is, the search interface is essentially changing and like, we're now kind of looking for sort of serendipitous experiences. And it's a bit like what I was talking about with Twitter. It's like, you go on there and like, actually there's a million people tweeting a lot of stuff you're not interested in. But if you go on at the right time and with the right kind of set of followers, you get this serendipitous information. And it's like data that now comes off mobile handsets, that comes off APIs, that comes through your extended friend network is creating these new kind of serendipitous experiences. That's so it's great. like it's like it's like you now now rather than looking for it, it comes to you. Very cool. So there's last one last question I wanted to ask you about. You did a video where you interviewed uh, 50 different SEOs and you asked them one question. You said, "What should we do with black hats?" And you weren't in that video. <laughs> but I want to I want to turn the camera around and I want to get your opinion on what should we do with black hats? Good question. <laughs> Not sure I'd got the answer even. Like, um, originally I thought my answer would be put them in a pipe and smoke them. <laughs> like, but, um, you know, maybe on a serious note, I think, like, you know, you've got to respect the black hats for, like, you know, pushing the industry, as a lot of people said in the video. And it's like, actually, when people crack stuff, it's exciting and it gets around and everyone tries stuff. and. You know, the Black Hats have created a lot of that kind of virality of SEO. Mm -hmm. And in a way, it's like, look, we define ourselves by the light and dark sides of the industry. So I kind of, I kind of like, they're the sort of, you know, keep your enemies cu close, <laughs> and keep your friends close <laughs> and your good. enemies closer. Yeah. And um, I don't regard Black Hats as my enemy or anything like that. But um, yeah, I think they, I think they contribute a lot. And I think in the end, you know, search engines should realize that if there weren't people cracking it, then they would just like sit back and, you know, sit on their laurels. And then actually we might start having a really bad user experience. Very well put. 
Well, Jonathan Allen, we appreciate your time. Uh, Jonathan Allen from Incisive Media. Moving out from London to join the New York team. And uh, welcome you to the U.S. <laughs> yeah, cheers to you. Thanks. Thanks.